fragrance of the day so this portion of the video is going to be sponsored by dossier i got another fragrance from dossier y'all i have a whole collection of dossier fragrances at this point so they're all really really good so this is tough but i'm thinking today i'm going to be trying the huh floriano almond the Floriental Almond. And this one is inspired by the Carolina Herrera Good Girl perfume. I had never, I've never, ever smelled the Carolina Herrera. So this was a blind selection for me. Um, so I based it off of reviews. Oh my goodness, y'all. Mm. This smells so good, y'all. This is a very sophisticated fragrance. Now, I know when I was telling you guys about like the Baccarat, the last one, the, what was it, Ori? No, the Enberry Saffron, um, the Dossier fragrance, the Ori and the Saffron. I was joking with you guys, um, cause you was like, oh, I never even smelled Baccarat, but the Enberry Saffron smells good. And I was like, just know it smells like you got money. <clears throat> this Floriana Almond, y'all, it smells so good. You smell like classy. You smell like real sophisticated. You smell mature. When I say mature, I don't I don't mean like an old lady. I, I mean like you and your prime. Like, if you do not know Dossier, they are a company that offers luxury inspired fragrances for a very affordable price y'all i'm telling you a very affordable price so if you were not able to purchase any of their fragrances last time i do have a discount code again so you can purchase any of their fragrances using my discount code just know that dossier they do have these really good deals where they um the more you buy the more you save basically so they have fragrances ranging from 29 dollars up until i think 49 dollars um so this smells so good y'all so i'm just very glad that you guys who purchased the Amberry Saffron loved it. I am positive that you will love this one as well. So the top notes are almond, peach, the middle notes are orris, orange blossom, tuberose, the base notes are tonka bean, vanilla, and cocoa. So when people tell me that, I don't know what that means. So I don't know if that means anything to y'all, but it just smells good so if you took my word for the amber saffron take my word for this one okay so check out dossier y'all i have a discount code oh, smells so good <laughs> all right y'all see you guys later um yes i'm trying to see if you guys have a package of mine and they said it was delivered on the 25th it's saying that there is a package under this name from when because they're showing one on there that's not there oh uh, yeah so when is that one from 
Um, it doesn't show me, but was it the one that, was it a post office package? No, this was UPS. Okay, thank you. I'll call you if I see anything, okay? Okay, yeah, call me back if you don't see it either. <laughs> okay, yes ma'am. Alright. Okay, bye. Bye. These people about to get on my nerves. Like, this is part of being an influencer that I can't stand, honestly. <laughs> oh, now I see why people have managers. People have managers to deal with all of the negotiations as far as payments. Like, I have had to hound some people down for my payment. Like, why am I having to do that? When I have to follow up with you to see where my money is, like... why 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 <sighs> so yeah that also um tr keeping track of all of this stuff like people take so long to respond to your brands take so long to respond to your emails and then it's hard sometimes because a lot of the brands are um not on the same time zone as you so it's just like <sighs> and then trying to do all of this when you know you have another job that you're tending to, kids that you're tending to, especially the part where, um, you know, you're trying to talk with, um, correspond with brands, but they're in a different time zone. So it's like you're finding yourself having to stay up late so you can talk to them. Um, just oh, all kinds of stuff. So I'm waiting for this my mailbox people to call me back to tell me if they found my package because this was delivered like on the 25th and today is the 5th all right so i'm about to make me some dinner dinner i'm gonna make some nachos very quick nachos let me show you guys so this is basically this Tyson grilled chicken breast. You basically just put it in the microwave, heat it up like that. Got some tortilla chips. drinking this wine that I showed you guys from the last vlog. It's actually really good. It basically tastes like Kool-Aid though. Um, I'm the only one that has drank out of this bottle y'all so I literally killed this. The day that I was vlogging when I was sitting there making the name tags for the party I was drinking this wine and I drank all of this in one sitting so. I basically drink this as a beverage to quench my thirst. Oh, look. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so yeah, this is, it's, it's really tasty. So I kept the mango one for myself and I gifted the peach one. Mmm, delicious. Tastes like Kool-Aid though, like I said. Mmm. may be able to feel like a little little buzz but for me it had drunk three-fourths of the bottle mm -mm. i'm about to try to relax i got this foot massager that i want to test out and just chill I'm making it a point to actually like relax and like some self care because the kids are not home from daycare yet. Let's see what they sent us. My mother in law has a massager similar to this, but hers is just the foot massager. So this one is supposed to be a foot calf 
massager. I already know Dallas is gonna be like trying to use this. So I went ahead and brought this in the game room so I could put it on the chase part of the sectional. This is a whole vibe, y'all. Like, I got my feet propped up. I got my wine here. Berkeley and Dallas are home, but let's see what we do here. I have a remote, but I'm just within arm's reach to turn this on. Okay, first impression. Oh my goodness. custom manual you're able to adjust the speed and the direction of the massage thank you Terralex for partnering with me in today's video I will have all the information linked down in the description box for you guys Charles came home literally for like 30 minutes and then it was time for him to go get the kids if I have like this on my face this is basically a lip scrub yeah i have really dark lips so the only time that i've been able to actually have like pink lips um was when i was on accutane for my skin and my lips were exfoliated um constantly being exfoliated they were always peeling when I was on Accutane for my skin. Um, so, like that really just bothers me having, um, my lips are so freaking dark. Um, sometimes they look, they're so dark, they look purple. Um, so yeah, I got this lip scrub it's by eco lips i got this from walmart so this is what it looks like um yeah so that's what that is it's basically um brown sugar and i think just brown sugar but you guys will just put it on there then you can just wipe it off or they say you can lick the sugar off so yeah that's what i've been using i need to go clean up my kitchen Cause I still need to go grocery shopping and I want to clean out my kitchen and clean out my refrigerator before I go grocery shopping. I think this week I'm going to go grocery shopping at Aldi. Um, because H-E-B, they have one up and their prices are a little ridiculous, y'all. Like, it's no way that I can actually stay under budget at H-E-B. And I actually have been finding that, um, in between my H-E-B trips, I have been going to Aldi to get, like, things for lunch i just prefer aldi better because i feel like since it's so small i can actually take my time and i can actually see everything and honestly i haven't been doing a whole bunch of cooking um i do feel like heb has a bigger variety like as far as their meat and all of that but i haven't even been doing a lot of cooking so the little bit of meat and stuff that i need to get i can honestly get from aldi because i don't be doing that much cooking We did not even get a chance to open this one at the party, but my cousin was telling me that that one was really good. So, I'm gonna make Babe and I some margaritas. I'm gonna put them in these cute glasses. I got these from Home Goods, and this is the mix that I got from Target I was telling you guys about. They have so, so many different types of flavors. So, if this is good, I'm gonna go get some other flavors. I think they had like watermelon, strawberry, peach. We are planning on, I'm, I wanna get some type of liquor cabinet for the, maybe I should shake this first. 
for the dining room. I haven't just decided exactly how I want that to look. Mmm, it smells so good. So this is gonna be my plan. After I clean up, I'm gonna see if Bae wanna help me clean up. We're gonna have like drinks and then we're gonna watch a movie because he's always like wanting me to watch a movie with him and I just do not be having time. So we actually started watching Manifest on Netflix. So we may like finish that or I'm gonna see if he wanna watch a movie. Ooh, that makes my them things back here, that made those like tingle. This is good. Oh, I'm gonna get this to bag. I'm gonna see what he says. He's like, babe, I made you a drink. This is, this literally tastes like a margarita you get from the Mexican restaurant. This bottle is empty. So I have a bottle of this left. I'm about to pop this. Cause dang. Hey, how open this? Okay, so this is the watermelon cucumber flabber. And so the way I'm feeling after this glorious life, this will give you a buzz. Baby, you got a buzz from this? Yes. So I don't remember getting the buzz from this at the party that we had, but I'm about to see. I'm about to see like if I can maintain my buzz. Cause this one had really good reviews. But like I said, my cousin had told me about this one and was like, this is bomb. And then I was just talking to one of my subscribers. Let me see her name. Just talking to Tangi on IG. So shout out to Tangi. She told me that this glorious, that you can actually get it from H-E-B. And she adds frozen fruit to it. And she has tried the strawberry and mango flavor. So I told her, Tangi girl, I'm going to get those tomorrow because we like these. We basically just been like having Club Poe and Charlie. <laughs> So, I'm on my way to go grocery shopping finally. And I just wanna say <clears throat> why it's so important to have a headband wig, y'all, because I literally just needed something to throw on to make myself look decent to go to the grocery store. Anywho, I have this cute little like terry cloth set that I got from Nasty Gal. Um, I got it when they were having like that sale for like five dollar items ten dollar items or whatever um so yeah it's brown it's a two-piece it has like the little poof sleeves and then it has shorts i just have this little toy birch crossbody bag and i have these slides i got these from h&m they're super super comfy y'all i know they look like jailhouse shoes but or the shoes you wear when you're in prison but they are so comfy 
So yeah, this is the fit. I'm going grocery shopping. I was able to get the fridge all cleaned out. Um, that's the biggest thing. Grocery shopping is not really bad. It's just coming home and putting up everything. And I hate not having the refrigerator cleaned out and everything before I actually go. So the fridge is clean and it's pretty empty for the most part. So I'm back from Aldi and I wanna show you guys what I have, I just always feel like Aldi hauls are like so cool because they just have like little gems in there, I feel like. So I'm just gonna run through this really quickly and show you guys what I got. Um, all of this stuff was $186, y'all. So I think that's a really good deal. So I got a bag of potatoes. This is a five pound bag of potatoes. Um, I got some mandarins, gushers. Um, I got this Thai coconut chicken. So it's grilled boneless skinless chicken thigh meat and tangy Thai inspired coconut sauce. So it's fully cooked already. They say you just have to heat it up and this is what it looks like. Um, like I was telling you guys, I'm just doing something really quick. Mainly, excuse me, um, things for us to be able to cook and get ready quickly for the kids after we get home from work and school and daycare. So I got virtually some of these um, apple banana squeezables. These are basically the little things that are in the pouches. They look like this. So I have the apple banana flavor. I also got her the apple peach flavor. Those are really good for when we're trying to prepare dinner. We'll sit her in her high chair and that's just something too that she can feed herself while we're actually cooking dinner. I have some shredded cheese. It's just Kobe and Mom Greg Jack. We have some chicken egg rolls. I have some cheddar stuffed jalapenos that's breaded. I got croutons. So this is Italian seasoned croutons. I have some sliced pepper jack cheese. I got this cheesy bread. These are cheesy bread sticks. And then I got two flat bread. Um, so this is the chicken flat bread. It's Southwest style with barbecue sauce. So it has mozzarella and cheddar, seasoned diced chicken breast, tomatoes, red onions, and jalapenos, and barbecue sauce on a flat, flat bread crust. So I got two of those. I got this seasoned beef for tacos. Yummy. Um, I got this huge pack of pork chops. Yeah, this pack, it looks like it's probably about eight pork chops in here. And they're pr a pretty good thick cut, not like super thick. Um, but this was only $5.52. I have this teriyaki seasoned chicken breast. Um, so this is like this bone skinless chicken breast with teriyaki seasoning. I plan on making like um, a teriyaki bowl like with rice and then that's why I bought the egg rolls. We always do that with a uh, meat that we get from H-E-B and then I got two packs of these um, flank steaks. I got a um, thing of tortillas, flour tortillas, some sliced American cheese, butter, another thing of the egg rolls, these are chicken also. I got these the buffalo style chicken strips. Y'all, I want to put these on a salad to make them like a buffalo tender salad or whatever. Um, I got this sub kit. It's basically just two different types of lunch meat. It is smoked ham and oven roasted white turkey. So I got that. I also got these buffalo style chicken wings. We're trying their wings for the first time because we usually get our wings from H-E-B, y'all. But the price has went up so, so much. I have not bought them probably in like two to three months because the price has went up. They started out being $19, they're all the way up to $27 a bag now. I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. 
So I have these little cheese dipping cracker sticks, just some for Dallas. Bacon bits. I have this seasoned crispy chicken fry. So we always use this brand of fish fry and it's always seasoned really good and I like it. And I've never used their chicken fry. Um, so it's the spicy recipe. So I got that. I got chicken and cheese chimichangas, two of those just to try. And then I also got the steak and cheese ones. Let's try those also. I got some more croutons. These are cheese and garlic flavor. I got some cheese for the tacos. This is the crumble cheese. I got this tropical fruit. These are basically like little fruit cups. Got that from Burkhart. Bag of avocado. Some spinach herb wraps. I always got some coffee. Got my white castle sliders. Has some flowers. Got some sourdough bread. Burke loves these. These are sweet potato bites. These are really good for her. She, she loves them. Um, and I got a whole bunch of these salads. So this is the Caesar salad with chicken. I love taking these to work. So I got three of these. And then I got three of the chef salad with ham and turkey. Three of those. Got some cotton candy grapes. Bag of tomatoes. Last bag. These little 100 calorie snack packs, they're like, kind of like, or like 100 calorie packs of like Oreos, I wanna kinda say. Um, but these are really good, so. Strawberries. I got some layer dip, so it's cheddar and cotilla? Coti, cotilla blend. Cotija. Is it cotija or cotilla? Cotija. Um, zesty salsa, guacamole, and pinto beans. So yeah, this is just a layered dip. You know, you eat this like with tortilla chips. Got Dallas some pineapple chunks. I got this crab rangoon dip. Um, they had a lobster roll and also and I couldn't really decide out of the two which ones I wanted to try. This one didn't have that many left, so I figured it probably was the best, the most popular. So I got this one. These are so bomb, y'all. These are called Total Cluster Fudge Kitchen Sink. So it's like these little, they're kind of like brownies, but they have like everything in them. So it's a layer of chocolate fudge brownie, layer of blonde brownie with caramel and topped with M&M candies. These are delicious. These are good. Like, if you have a sweet tooth, this this is it. <laughs> More pineapples. We drink these. These This is sparkling water, but it's flavored. So this is the black cherry flavor. Got two of those. We have a peach flavor. We have a key lime flavor. Dallas said this tastes just like Sprite. And then we have two strawberries. So I like to let Dallas take these to daycare or camp. Um, and then I have some corn. So that's it guys. I feel like this is like a good selection. A whole bunch of new things that I'm going to be trying. Um, yeah, and like I said, I spent only $186. This will last us for two weeks. Right, so we have the dip. This is the layered dip. We got the taste test. Here's your chip. Big one. My chip. What you need to do is make sure you just scoop. What does that have in it? Does that have avocado? Oh. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mm. Uh -oh, don't be double dipping. 
no That's good, huh? Hmm? Dallas, that. Hmm. Mm. That's good, huh? To answer your question, yes, it has avocado in it. But you like it. Mmm. Don't spit that out. We're gonna do this crab one next. See how it is. Avocado. What do you write that one? Let me just taste it. That's really good. Okay. Chip. You gave me two chip. Chip. Okay. Don't get like a huge, huge thing. I don't like it. Mm. That's good. You definitely have to like crab, of course. It's sweet and crabby. It doesn't taste like crab to me. I definitely taste like crab. Mmm. <laughs> Your mama told you to pick this one? <laughs> no, he did. Mm -hmm. My mama told me. My mama told me to pick this one over here. Uh, that was he did. So we're trying to decide. These are the sparkling flavored waters that I bought. <clears throat> and so we each eat two. And so me and Dallas, we had these before, but Babe never had any. He was kind of salty because I didn't buy him any the last time. So mm -hmm. I'm letting him go first to pick which two flavors. This is the layer Mom. dip that I was showing you guys. And she just don't want it to get it. Look, it's almost done. I was showing them. Almost cooked so a lot. So clearly, it's good. Is it safe to say it's good, child? No, I get, I get, mm. I get this one too. Dallas even eating the um, avocado. I, 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 I broke this. I just saw you do this. I, I, cause I, I had two. I dipped that other one. Dallas be trying to double dip. I'm not double. Let me get the uh, blackberry strawberry. I'm lucky, guys. I'm fine with the key bomb to get to go second. I get to go second because I'm the youngest. Mm -hmm. You ain't about anything. Okay, I take. Hmm. Well, you're not getting this one for sure. You ain't getting this one for sure. And I take. Mom, I got the same. I got the same too. I'm happy because you killed them. <laughs> well, obviously it was good. I'm about to cook. My I'm trying to decide if I want to make this cheesecake or not. What you think? 